house right behind me. cement has been poured and now we have a crawl space <laughs> foundation. <laughs> All right. This is the container that we rented. We paid $750 for pickup and drop off and then we're paying $150 a month for the rental, which we think we're going to need through maybe April. So equipment here. And tomorrow our builder will be using a forklift to get the materials off the truck, which can't come up the driveway, and into this container. It's going to be really interesting to see how that goes. I'm very cold. The only skin that is exposed to the air is the skin that you can see right now because it's so cold. But I love it, right? Walking around our property in the snow was a beautiful reminder of why we chose it in the first place. We feel so at home here. We had some time to kill, so Nikolai and I headed over to Crystal Mountain to snowboard. It was Nikolai's first time. How are you feeling? Fine. Are you nervous? No. Okay, we're gonna have fun. Maybe. was one of my favorite kinds of days. The cold air was bitter, but the sun was shining through and warming my face. The next morning, Nikolai had to work, so I warmed up the car and headed over to our property to meet our builder, Justin, and receive our A-Brain kit. In the spirit of this build being hilariously difficult and running into a bunch of issues. We somehow, on the snowiest and coldest day of the year yet, are receiving delivery of our kit. Uh, the truck driver has not arrived yet. I just sent him a message to make sure he's okay because the road conditions are pretty bad. So, see if he gets here and we'll see if we can get him down this road. Our builder Justin's already here, so uh, we just chatted, talked about what's been done already and what's coming up next. So next up, they're gonna get the frame up, the foundation's done, and then they'll call plumbing and electrical and connect the septic and the well and all that. So, exciting stuff. We had some trouble finding a forklift on such short notice, but Justin was able to make it work and it arrived just in time. While we were waiting for the truck, we got a call from the driver who said he needed some assistance getting down the snowy gravel road. He decided to back the truck in so he'd have an easier time leaving, but that proved to be pretty difficult.
The truck had a canvas covering that can be rolled back for easy access to the materials inside. The driver, Ali, asked us if it's always this cold in northern Michigan. We said no. It took Justin about an hour and a half to get all of the materials off the truck. As he made progress, the two of them would shift the covering on the truck and move it backward so that the forklift could grab materials from the middle and then the front. Justin grabbed the last load of the day and sent the driver on his way. It took him five or six tries to get up the hill and out to the main road. Woo! It feels so good to continue to make progress, even through the harshest days of winter. Thanks for watching this video, and if you'd like to follow along with our A-frame build, hit that subscribe button.